Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here at Trader's Journey on YouTube. Today we're going to be going through the stock DNN, Denison Mines Corporation. We're going to go through all the details, why the stock has been rallying recently and what we're, what the expectations are for the stock in the few months to year to come. So we're going to go through all those details. It's going to be a deep analysis. Just before I get into this video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, drop, the, drop a like on this video as it does help me out and I'll be providing some crazy plays for the rest of the year it's going to be an amazing year for you guys so make sure you join in on the fun and if you haven't checked out my instagram it is trader journey underscore official so give me a follow there dm me if you want to get into any discussions on any stocks and i'll be more than happy to get into that so let's get straight into this so here you can see the chart we have a one week chart up here i do like to go on the larger time frames just to see what the potential is of the stock from a technical point of view so we can see a recent high of 434 was seen back in 2011. We will get into the details of why that happened and why the stock had continued to drop here. We had a it IPO there, it looks like, at 12 around the $12 range, and it, it came down to consolidate at this level. Very low. We've seen all-time lows of roughly $0.16, cents and uh, the stock has only recently recovered but uh, massive, a massive recovery which we've seen on DNN. But I'll get into the news as to what is happening and why that's planned uh, and what we have planned for the, the, the year to come. So all-time highs here of of recent all-time highs here of 434. Um, looking at the recent price, it did have a spike and it hit rejected 181. So 181 is a key resistance area which we need to watch on this stock for anyone interested. Um, and we came down to find support at 115. So these price levels are very key for us at this point in time. Um, but DNN is particularly relevant for what we're about to talk to talk about for for this year. And if you guys are aware of the news what's happening in the United States with the cold freeze going on in America, a US deep freeze. We have seen the, the constant um, rallying of natural, natural gas prices and uranium. Now, DNN guys, they specifically mine uranium. That's what they're known for. Um, they mine uranium, they're a mining business. And uh, the, due to the, the, the cold freeze, which you're seeing in the US, we're seeing the prices of these commodities go up and spike almost up 10,000% for 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 these uh, types of quantities especially with electricity so if you guys don't know what uranium is uranium is used for it's a very important element because it provides the, with nuclear fuel used to generate electricity in nuclear power stations so this is the main element main element needed for nuclear power stations to produce electricity now with the with what's going on in the us with the deep freeze um electricity is needed more than ever and the spike in the megawatt price per hour has actually spiked to almost nine thousand um, dollars on late mo monday morning that that is what was reported so that is actually from a price which was a, an initially a price of only fifty dollars per megawatt per hour so you can imagine how much the the price of texas on the texas power grid the price for electricity per megawatt is insanely high right now at nine thousand dollars so that is going to push uranium prices up and that is why dnn is actually benefiting that from that in the stock price um, but i'll obviously go into the details so the texas the deep freeze going on in the us is partly to 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 blame for this and um, investors are interested they know um, electricity prices are moving up and uh, the spot price for electricity is moving up so you'd expect a knock-on effect on the uranium because like i said they are needed for the nuclear power stations and you can see the demand the, the demand for uranium pushing up so a lot of you are brought to this video because you want to see what's happened you want to know what's happened with this recent spike so the recent spike has obviously been brought about from the uranium and the the whole the whole business model for dnn is that they mine uranium 90 percent of their business is based on mining uranium so there is there is going to be a greater appreciation in the price of uranium and the long term and, and i think that is why dnn are going to really benefit from this sudden spike in, in electricity prices and in uranium prices alone 
So um, there's going to be some exciting stuff for this stock. Personally, I do have some peak profit targets for the year ahead for me, um, which I'll also share with you later on in this video. But I'm just going to cover off any more technical analysis. So right now, 181 is a key resistance area. We would like to see 181 break before we can see 198. And then if 198 breaks, then for now, based on my price targets, 250 to 262 is a is a very realistic price target at this point just based off of this rally but uh, like i said 181 needs to break before we can see these next profit targets um for i, I do have other profit targets list charted here at 434 877 i don't think they're realistic personally um but for this for the next few months i am definitely eyeing up that two dollar fifty range but i'm going to get into some other reasons why two dollar fifty is so crucial for me and why it's why i'm pretty confident that i would like to see two dollar fifty on this stock price so there you have it guys there's a bit of fundamentals which i've given to you um uranium is the main area that uh, these guys obviously mine and they are doing so much r d work research and development to try and find and explore and expand for a, a newer drilling program so they're hopefully going to be mining for more uranium which will only help um, investors and the sentiment towards this stock so very exciting stuff based off of the chart so I'm just going to go through now some of the more fundamentals now we did cover off there that um, the, the the technicals there so I'm just going to go through what what else is going on so you want to be looking at the income statement you want to understand the balance sheet before you are getting into these investments which I'll cover off just just after I've just covered off this which is the biggest information which I want to cover off on this video, which is the options flow. Now, I like to I like to cover off this and look at this on a weekly basis, to, uh, just based on the stocks that I'm looking at. Now, this chart here, which you're looking at, illustrates the most volume traded in the markets on Friday by stock, by um, ticker name, and by strike price. Now, what you can see here, I'm just going to highlight it on the video, DNN which is a stock we're obviously talking about here, guys, trading at 120 on Friday. Now, we can see some crazy amounts of volume in options contracts for the $2.50 strike. Now, that is incredible, and it has to raise some eyebrows, guys. For me, it certainly did as soon as I've seen that. Um, $2.50 is the strike, and there's, there's, a, there's about 36,823 contracts traded on Friday for this particular options contract. Now, a lot of you are asking, why the $2.50? Now, that was the question I had. Why $2.50? You can't see DNN anywhere else on this chart, uh, but that particular contract, there isn't gonna be many, many contracts in the options chain for DNN, but you can see it here, $2.50, um, and it's for the expiration. You can see the expiration there is 19th of March. So here is my forecast, guys. I think by that mid-March level, I think we'll maybe hit that $2.50 or maybe even surpass it, right? That is my personal prediction. I've done the charts. I've looked at the, I looked at these options and I've seen the volume traded here. And for me, this is a clear signal that there is something going on with the stock and there's something expected to happen for the rest of the year. But like I said, based off of the news, um, there is there's definitely going to be increased demand um, the extreme cold weather it is going to warm up the weather is going to warm up but I think the increased demand for these for the electricity there is going to continue and I think it's only going to cause an increase in the stock price for this tw for the next 12 months but with contracts being traded there for an expiration of 19th of March that makes you think it really makes you think that uh, with with unusual options activity such as that there is a lot of bulls in the market and a lot of people expecting big things with DNN and now just in terms of risk to reward guys you know I like to talk about that on these videos but in terms of risk to reward if you were to enter at the current stock price of 120 with a potential stop loss here of 42 cents now that is a fairly big potential risk here but uh, the reward the reward is looking pretty good in the short term at least you would see a potential it seems like a one to two risk to reward which is not ideally not what i like um if you want to make that risk to reward a bit better you could probably keep your stop loss a bit more tight and I would think a better stop loss would probably be around 
the 83 cents therefore risking your reward let me just change this change this table uh, change this box here to green so you can clearly see my risk to reward so you can see here fairly good risk to reward if you had a stop loss of um, 83 cents which is probably what I'm going to be doing here and 83 cents with a potential of $2.50 $2.62 the risk to reward just visually here looks looks what looks like what I would like to see in a trade and uh, roughly one to four one to five very good risk to reward so I hope that helps you out but this is just shows why that level is so key 262 or 250 if you want to call it um, it's key and I think it's easily achievable from this rally from a technical standpoint and to add to that with the options activity with increased volume on the options contract for $2.50 it's uh, unusual and it, it just shows that the the investors are thinking this is going to be a stock which is going to be more and more in demand based on based off of the uranium which they're mining the extreme cold weather etc and the fact that uh, the electricity the, the, the per hour charge is so high right now, um, especially for that Texas region. So they're going to benefit from it. Now, I just want to bring you guys onto some of the risks with this stock because I don't usually do that with some of my videos and I want to get into some more deeper analysis with you guys. And that is, brings me on to the income statement and the balance sheet. I, I highly, highly suggest that any of you guys interested in investing, interested in trading, before you get involved in any stock, you check these numbers. You check these numbers, you understand them, and um, if you guys want to get some more understanding, I'll be mentioning on the future YouTube live so we guys we can talk you through each of the areas which I'm looking at before I'm investing in. So in fact, investing in the stock. So let's look at the income statement firstly, um, which is why I wanted to talk about that big peak which you saw in 2011. So there was obviously a peak there in 2011, and what was the reason for that? If we go back, say let's look at the income statement right let's look at the income statement their operating income was 24 I don't know if this is yeah, this is a million so 24 million 24.1 million now if we look at their net income what happened in 2011 um, okay 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 so it looks like during the year of that 2011 they had a big spike and a big loss which was which is partly probably to do this this big sell-off here was probably partly due to that those bad earnings when was this drop yeah so i think the the drop in the share price was chances are they did really poorly in their financial results with uh, um, a huge a huge loss being reported so that that for me is a key area to to spot here so we went from 2010 uh to 2011 let me just check something here net income yeah, so we went from a loss of 5 million to 70 million. So they they definitely went, something went wrong in 2011, the, st the stock price tanked. Now, where are, we, where are we sitting in 2019? We're sitting at a loss of 18 million, right? They've dropped that from, they've, they've, they've halved their loss from 30 million to 18 million in 2019. If they've managed to halve their loss from 2018 to 2019, it makes you think what they're going to be achieving for 2020 hopefully an income based off of hopefully i mean 2021 they haven't obviously released 2020 details so you can imagine investors are piling in here thinking okay if the uranium price is going up the electricity charges in in texas for instance are going up uh per, for per hour charge you can imagine this could easily flick to a to a, to actual overall income rather than an ex, rather than a loss so they managed to half from 18 to 19. So that is very good. I like to see that. And that is definitely a positive. Moving on to the balance sheet. I don't want to get into too much detail here, guys, because I don't want to make this video too long for anyone watching. But in terms of assets, seem very, fairly stable. Uh, liabilities, again, pretty much uh, the same as prior year, although it has dropped from 2017. So I'd be interested to see what the 2020 results show. Um, but yeah, one thing to note is, guys, it is a, a still it still is a loss making entity. Whether they've changed that for twenty twenty, we need to wait and see. I haven't been um, keeping up to date with their quarterly situation, but uh, with an eighteen million loss, it's it's certainly less than what they've experienced in the past. 
And if they can turn around, turn this around for 2021, you can understand why investors are so interested in this right now. Uh, you can see a chart here, which I have. Um, yeah, that the last time they were actually making an income was back in 2007. So that can be some concern. But based on the charts, it looks like they're reducing the loss and hopefully it's flipping that into an income for 20, 2020 or 2021. So we're going to have to keep, 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 keep a close eye on this, guys. So the net income has obviously been fluctuating, but they managed to make an income in 2007. If you look at the charts in back in 2007, that is when that is when we seen these huge highs up here in 2007. Then it came tanking because they then in the future years after that start becoming a, a loss making business, right? Um, and then the spike here was caused by maybe a um, a turnaround in their business, maybe maybe some good news there, and hopefully maybe they saw some potential opportunity, but then they recorded that big loss. So I think they have an opportunity here to flip this around, guys make it into a, a profitable business and um, at least in the short term guys I think that $2.50 is the target for me that's the profit target for myself and I, I hope I prove that to you today guys uh, trading at $120 uh, with a $2.50 profit target um, that's over 100% return so I don't need to talk too much about it guys it's an exciting play wanted to bring this to you after the SOS CCIV drama um, hopefully this is another play which you guys can benefit from and uh, if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below if you want to get into a discussion with me hit me up on my Instagram traderjourney underscore official I do provide trading tips and investment tips there hopefully on a daily basis as I'm getting pretty busy I am doing my best to keep that active there so if you have any questions DM me there and I hope you have benefited from this video I will be posting a lot more plays on the channel I do know I have been doing the YouTube lives which I hope has benefited a lot of you but I'm going to continue to upload this video so you guys can understand my analysis understand my uh, thought process on what I like to invest in and uh, what I'm looking at so I hope this has helped you out uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button join the community and I will catch you all on the next video thanks very much for watching take care goodbye